Today's sunshine note is titled, Anything You Want. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David. But I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 7 through 9 Once upon a time three men were walking along a beautiful sandy beach. One of them saw something shiny glimmering in the sand. He bent down to pick it up and saw that it was an old gold lamp. As he started to rub the sand off it, a genie popped out and said, Thank you for freeing me from this lamp. I will now grant each of you one wish. The first man said, I would like to be twice as smart as I already am. The genie crossed his arms, nodded and said, Your wish has been granted. The second man said, I would like to be ten times smarter than I already am. The genie crossed his arms, nodded, and said, Your wish has been granted. The third man said, I would like to be one hundred times smarter than I already am. The genie crossed his arms, nodded, and turned the third man into a woman. Old joke. Okay, so the genie appearance is not going to happen. But if God came to you and told you, he would give you anything you wanted, anything in the world, what would you choose? An unlimited bank account? The ability to read minds? The ability to breathe underwater? I think I might be tempted to choose that one. Solomon had this very option, and he chose to ask for wisdom to guide God's people in the right way. This was an indication that Solomon had a good character. He asked for a gift that would bless others and not just himself. What are your desires in life? When Jesus had the option to give up on the human race or give up heaven so that we could know the Father, when he was faced with safety in heaven versus death on earth, he chose the gift that would bless others. Blessing others with our gifts takes a commitment of self-sacrifice, but it pays off big time. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David, but I am only a child and do not know how to carry out my duties. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 7 through 9. May God bless you today.